Hello, 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 and welcome to another segment of Top App. Zach here, and today I've got a very interesting concept of an app. It's an app that's designed to stop you from using other apps. It's basically an app to stop you from using your phone. Now, why would you want an app that stops you from using your phone? Well, it's about focusing and uh, sort of getting your work done. Because I know in, in this day and age, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's just a constant distraction at work, whether you're working in an office or by yourself or out doing your own thing, or maybe even at the table with a meal with the family and friends, and you want to have some incentive to not look at your phone. Well, there's an app called Forest. And it, that's a weird title for an app about focusing. And it's got a very, very interesting concept that sort of uses a metaphor of growing a forest as an incentive for you to not use your phone. So how does it work? Well, let's jump into the app and I'll show you all about it. So how does forest work? Well, when you load it up, it's just gonna have, a, well, a, a bush or a tree on the screen, and it might be a little confusing at first. Here's how it works. You basically, basically get to metaphorically plant a bush or a tree, and you're not allowed to touch your phone or open up any other apps until that tree or bush has finished planting and growing. If you interrupt its growth cycle, well, the plant dies, and it does have uh, some very interesting messages, like it'll tell you to uh, don't look at me, get back to work, focus on what you're doing, that sort of thing. And uh, for example, I can go ahead and the minimum time is 10 minutes here. I'm gonna go ahead and plant this bush. And you can see it says stop fubbing around, you know? It, it gives you 10 minutes. And if I go into another app, if I back out to the main screen and open up Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, the plant dies. And Yes, it's not a real plan, but it still, it gives you that sort of guilty feeling, doesn't it? And I could press this give up button here, and it says, are you sure you want to give up? This will kill your little cute tree. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kill my tree there. It feels bad, and it's gone ahead and died there. But this is sort of a very interesting sort of metaphor to, to encourage you to not get distracted. And you can also add notes to your successes and failures, which is cool, but I'm gonna show you here. So today I've only killed one tree there, but I want to show you yesterday. I went ahead and tried to grow a nice forest and not every attempt was successful. Uh, it grew quite a nice forest, but you can see there's a one, two, three, four failed attempts there where I just had to open up uh, another app. Now, you might be thinking, what if I use certain other apps for work? Well, don't worry, there's a whitelist. In the app, you can add a whitelist. So it's sort of acceptable apps. And by default, it already takes work apps into account, like your calculator doesn't kill your tree and your, your calendar, stuff like that. So if you use certain apps for work, then you can add those to the whitelist. And of course, you could always cheat and just add Facebook to the whitelist, but that means you're just cheating yourself, isn't it? And that's not very nice. But Another cool feature is that uh, if you uh, increase the time, so instead of a bush, it goes to a tree, and you can increase it all the way up to 120 minutes, so two hours. And as you have successes in not using your phone, you get to unlock other kinds of trees. So there's very, very uh, interesting looking things, and it's all just cosmetic and stuff like that. So this app, uh, I really do like it because it takes a concept of not using your phone and just to uh, spend more time doing what you're supposed to be doing. And an app that encourages you to not use your phone is difficult to pull off. And Forest is actually added on a theme that is a successful for quite a lot of people. So I do have to recommend it. It's on iOS and Android, and it's just very, very charming, and I love it.
Omelette. 